Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Wolf 4 for another episode of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. In the last episode, we defeat, we completed the Catfish's Maw. Today we're going to do a few things. Um, I can't actually think of anything specific to do now that we have the hookshot, but uh, there are a few things that we have yet to do, uh, such as finish the trading side quest, um, get get a single uh, solitary secret seashell that I already got that one in two episodes ago single solitary secret seashell uh, we actually have to put the scale up over there so how do I get there we go around we go around okay I have not I mean aside from the last episode this is I'm recording this right after the last episode but uh, I haven't played this game in a while, even though I remember the dungeons fairly well. The world is easy to get lost in. Um, truth be told, it it can be a bit annoying to try to figure out what the heck to do. Um, yeah, no, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, uh, that there was that that cave behind all the grass that we saw before. We have to. We have to go there. I believe that leads to where the mermaid statue is. Also, we have to find a way to use all this money because, oh my gosh, so much money. Um, it'd be a shame to just keep collecting chests and, and uh, you know, have too much money. Uh, does this destroy? That doesn't destroy them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to go on a self-destructive... Haha, okay. Uh, yeah. Whee! I also like that you could do that. Just jump over two in this game. With one jump. One single jump. I believe we're going in the right direction. I could be horribly mistaken. I'm horribly mistaken. Okay, wonderful. Let's just see where this leads for the sake of... Did I go here already? I probably did. Nope. I did not. Okay, this is one of the areas where you can double capacity of something. Hey kid, you woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot. But now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll let you carry more bombs. Uh, oh no. Oh no. That, yeah. Okay, thank you. No, oh no. I'm so... This is terrible. I've been cursed with... 60 bombs. Okay. I... I don't want to actually, like, go cutting around in this because I haven't used Camtasia in a long time and I don't really care to do all the editing features. Laziness, yay! Although, um... See, I, I was looking at the last episode and, uh, it doesn't really capture the game too well. Um, it, it just looks a bit, it, it's not laggy, it's just, like, it's not smooth. It's a lot of frame skip, and I haven't really figured out how to stop that, because, um, like, I changed the frame rate to 30 from the 15 that it is on the default, but that doesn't do anything, I, you know, I don't think making the frame rate lower will help. Um, I could experiment with different video codecs, but, I don't know, if you guys want to tell me if you use Camtasia, you know, what settings you use for emulators, but, um, I might, you know, if, if I do figure out how to get this to go well, I might consider using it, oh, that's right, you do need the, uh, this, haha, uh -huh. and yeah, you can stun those guys too, um, so I might consider doing DS games in the future. You put the missing scale in the mermaid statue. Ooh. And we get... A... Magnifying lens. Yay. And by many things it really means... Well... Wow, I died. Ha! Huh. It means, uh, just a few. <laughs> it means the enemies here, which were invisible, um, and in a few other locations, such as the Animal Village, which actually we're not too far from. So we'll go there first. Um, yeah. 
so I don't know. I mean, the magnifying lens isn't particularly useful. I mean, it's it's used for uh, to get you know uh, to the end of the trading side quest to a, another item. But well, the truth be told, that it's not like it's like eh. What are you doing here? So yeah, used we used to have this completely empty house, but now. Hey, you can see me? You must have a magnifying glass. I'm not a troublemaker. I just want to live in peace. Yeah, it's Azora. These things shooting at us all the time. Hey there, it's me, the photograph photographer. The photographer. Good job, Dovey. You said Azora is in the house? Zora's in the house. I have to go take a picture of that. I'll call it, I found Zora. Look at that face Link has. Oh my gosh. So what's up, dog? Keep it a secret, I'll tell you something useful. Go to Toronto Shores, use the magnifying glass, and you will find someone like me. Save me. Ah, oh, I can't kill you. Fooey. <laughs> I love the Animal Village music so much. It's like some of the best music in the game. I mean, the, the the music in the game also gets really, really, really good um, uh, in the some of the final areas. Let's see, um, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna go through the village. It's it may not be faster, but eh. I also want to see if the village has a certain expense of something for sale. Bum 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 bum. Yes, it does. Awesome. We got the well. Yeah. Bow and arrow set. That's right. The bow in this game is completely optional. And you can also save and quit and try to cheat the guy out of his money, but I really don't need... I really, really needed to get rid of the money. I had no other use for it. Okay, now here's something that I did not know when I first played the game. So we're in here, right? Right, right. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where did you hide the body? I know she has Jimmy Hoffa in here somewhere. <laughs> Come on. There we go. You found a secret seashell. Yeah, I had no idea she had a secret seashell in here. Seriously, like, how did it even? Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da bum, bum, bum. I like that the Oracle games uh, have a lot of unique music, but they also borrowed, you know, stuff in this game, but, like, they didn't just... Eh. Like, Majora's Mask, uh, I love the game, but, you know, it was an Ocarina of Time clone uh, that they, you know, just a lot of, you know, reskinned uh, characters... It was, it was like a lot of new locations, but it's it was like a lot. It was, it was pretty much the exact same engine and everything as uh, as Ocarina of Time, and uh, the Oracle games are kind of like that too. But they they do a really good job with taking you know a lot of the old stuff and just adding enough to make it new and good. I don't know. I'm just ram rambling. I found a good item washed up on the beach. I'll treat it to you for what you have in your B button. No. Okay, so you have a choice here. What do you want to get rid of? Bombs? Heck no. Shield? You're gonna need that. Hookshot? You're gonna need that too. Arrows? Bow and arrow? I guess. Um, maybe that's actually what you're supposed to do. I don't know, but I always went for the shovel. Uh, you can you can trade back to this guy, so don't worry. And you get the boomerang. You get the most overpowered item in the entire friggin' game. This thing. <laughs> this thing is, I don't know, it's, it's more powerful than God. It's, there's, there's, no, there's no starting point to describing how much you can do with that single uh, with that single boomerang. Actually, we're gonna use Mambo's, uh, Mambo's Mambo to go to Crazy Tracy's shack. It's just faster that way. Here. Thank you. 
Uh, where we have to go on the map is, like, to the right there. Where the thingy is making eh, eh, eh noises. I am, I, I just love how exact I am. Where the thingy is making eh noises. Actually, uh... Can... There's somewhere else we can go right now, but... We can also go to an area down here and get something, but that's really not necessary for this point in the game, so I'm just gonna go there later. We don't need it till the uh, seventh dungeon, I believe. I'm going the wrong direction. Like I said, this it this map is not not conducive to exploration. Um, it, you just get turned around a lot. Camera. And there's a, there's a like it makes you go around a lot in the interest of like keeping the areas you know inaccessible to to some uh, like uh, as soon as you get an item. So you need to just go around and all over the place. It's eh, whatever. It's more time exploring the fun world. Am I right? No, no, I'm not. I'm not right. Uh, I think we go this way. This is back by the fourth dungeon. Because, you know, stuff. I believe... If we go this way... Ah, can you ever kill those enemies, by the way? Yeah, loud... loudness. And... Okay, so yeah. Over here... Is a hookshot point. Also, I'm pretty sure I went in there, but there's a piece of heart in the water there. If I didn't show that for some weird reason. Um, and we go down here, and there's a raft store. Hello. Wanna go on a raft ride? Uh, no. I don't have a hundred rupees. Can I steal it? Can I steal it? No. <laughs> you don't need to go on the raft ride, but it's fun. So I guess instead I'm just going to, um, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to have to take the, the short route. Uh, the raft ride, you can get a whole bunch of cool things. Um, uh, rupees and items. I don't think it leads to a piece of heart at all. Could be mistaken, like I usually am. Please tell me there is a short way and I don't have to pay 100 rupees to go into the next area, thank you. This is, uh, Canaleth Castle, which means I probably am going in the wrong direction. So I don't remember this actually leading anywhere, which could be really annoying because, okay, it does. <laughs> yeah, we have to go up this way. Ooh. Woot! There are two shrines, one to the north, the other to the south, first head south, where ancient ruins speak of the windfish. You will learn much there. Okay. Sure, why not? And that is a fairy fountain, I believe. I'm gonna ignore it because I'm, you know, cool like that. Just gonna leave her sealed up in her house. Uh, I don't think any of these rocks have a secret seashell under them. Could be mistaken. But yeah, uh, let's just get out of here. This is an annoying maze. Uh, that owl doesn't say anything special. See, so yeah, down here, we have a bunch of Armo statues guarding things. I love Armo statues. I You touch them and they come to life, and then you can only kill them with the hook shot. Oh, no, you can use the boomerang, actually. Or the bow and arrow. But why would you use the bow and arrow when you have the boomerang? Boomerang super overpowered everything. Kerboom! Now, there is one thing for with the boomerang that just makes it, like, completely break the game. But I think I'm going to uh, avoid 
using it in that capacity. If you don't know what I'm talking about, first of all, play this game. What's wrong with you? Second of all, uh, I'll talk about it when we get there. Hey, it's a secret seashell. How about that? Something good is bound to happy. 17, okay. Three more and we get a cool upgrade thing. I think we go up here. Headphones stay in my ear. Yeah. Uh, now that I think about it more and more, the, maybe the game does intend for you to um, replace the uh, bow and arrow with the boomerang, but I don't know. They have very similar functions. The boomerang is infinite. But the bow and arrow, if you combine uh, a bow and ar the bow and arrow with, uh, with bombs, actually, <laughs> you can make bombs that fly. Wow, this, yeah, I'm just too, too super power. That guy's cool. I don't know. Uh, I, I wish you could see more of him. And we get the face key. Your face is a key. Yeah, we don't need to actually go to this part here, but story. And we'll end off the episode after this. <clears throat> to the finder, the Isle of Koholint is but an illusion. Human, monster, sea, sky, a scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer, and Koholint will vanish, much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away, you should know the truth. What? Illusion? And yeah, apparently Koholint isn't real. But where will this shocking revelation lead us? Well, you're not going to find out next time. We're going to just go to a dungeon next time and kill things. This has been several told before. Oh no, it's an owl! Hoot, as you have read the relief. While it does say the island is but a dream of the windfish, no one is really sure. Just as you cannot know if a chest holds treasure until you open it, so you cannot tell if this is a dream until you awaken. The only one who knows for sure is the windfish. Trust your feelings. Search your feelings. Someday you will know for sure. I think he's evil. But yes, this has been Sephiroth Total 4 with Legends of the Link's Awakening DX. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.